Greetings and welcome back to Infraspace. I'm Catherine of Sky, and uh, today I would love to thank all of the new patrons who have just signed up. Thank you so very much. Lots of new people, and I continue to thank you and all of the continuing patrons. New people, old people, in between people, young people, and bald people, and hairy people, and aliens, and everybody else. Thank you so much. Um, all right, let's get into our episode. Now, last time we started to make computers and we have a little bit of proliferation of that, but I think we still need more. I was kind of looking at it from above and I'm like, huh, that actually looks kind of nice. Uh, and it's a very compact kind of, kind of arrangement. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. Let us go ahead and get some stuff. Let's get electronics factories. Let's make two more sets at the very least. Um, yeah, the auto snapping thing does not work when you don't want it to auto snap to that angle. Mm -hmm. Let's get these just carefully in place. There we go. Uh, all right. So we need the microchips first. Put those over. Uh, oh God. It's very fiddly with this. There we go. So microchips there and then get computers. Computers. Right, that's one set. Then we go back to our green chips again. And I think we need to add a couple of mines. Possibly. No! Okay, fine. It is not making me happy this thing <laughs> sometimes the controls are a little bit like why is it not square come on you can do better thing help uh, okay there we go and another here that's fine good enough i guess if it's parallel to the building it's nearby we'll call that good as well Okay, I'm going to go ahead and delete this part of this and make this connecting road a little bit further ahead. So then we need microchip factory out here. This might be a good time for a reset via the roads. There's our microchip factory. And we're just gonna go with this ratio. I'm pretty happy with it, so. Wow, you could almost put it on this side as well. We'll leave it here for now, though. Okay, and that's as pretty much as compact as we can make that right now. All right, let's take this thing. Let's take the road and put it here. And then that will go that way. And I'm going to be very happy with that. Make that a curve. Make this a curve as well. Okay, and life is pretty decent. I think I want to add a substation in this area instead of what we currently have, which is not ideal. Um, I'll put it, maybe, maybe I'll put it there. Since we do have this extra space, uh, or, or not. I'm trying to figure out how to, how to deal with this. Let's uh, just delete these again. Put the substation right there. That's better, I think. So let's go here. Okay, boom. What? Why? No, come on. Sometimes these road segments are a tiny bit annoying. I think that, yeah, that's, and this, this non-connecty thingy, that is not good at all. I'm like, why does that not work? I would really love that to work. Okay, let's go back here. But at least it does seem to, to keep the distance between the buildings and stuff. It would be... I've seen some other games where it doesn't do that. Uh, and the distance gets very, very not ideal. So anyway, looks like this uh, microchip factory failed to deliver here, possibly. It might have delivered upstream. So that that's something we also want to be aware of. Now, this thing, I think we decided that it is it fills... 30 or uh, 10 factories 
So this takes 32 seconds to run. So this um, is for 10 factories. How many do we have? So we have eight and then more eight. So that's 16. Let's build another copper mine. Let's do that. Large copper mine. Get that snuck in. Maybe just try to align it better with the first one. There we go. Okay, and then I'll take a road that way. Good. Now, the other thing we had is sand. Now, sand is every six seconds, and we need... This is sand, so this will go ten of these guys. So we have one, two, three, four, eight of them f currently. Aluminum we need... Let's see, 80 seconds, and these are... 10.8 seconds. Thank you very much for your convenience. <laughs> Thank you very much for your convenience. <laughs> um, let's see. The, the The problem, though, is that there's this efficiency number. Does this tell us it is 80 seconds? Oh, no. So we don't actually know. I wish this showed us the actual efficiency. Because this is not 60 seconds. This is at 150% efficiency, which is what, like... Um, I don't know, uh, uh, 45 seconds or something like that. I don't know. It's not 30 seconds, so it must be like 45 seconds, I would imagine. I wish that it showed the actual number on how long it takes, because otherwise you have to do much more complex math in your head, and that's really not convenient while you are presenting a game via YouTube. I'm going to claim YouTubeness on this. <laughs> but this one, um, let's see, are these guys, some of them are at 200% efficiency, which that means we need more stuff. So every 40 seconds, we need one aluminum, and this is 10 seconds. Uh, so this can supply four approximately, so we can do eight. Wow, we're at our limit of computer places, I think. Let's see, six, seven, eight, yeah. That is it. So yeah, that is what we got currently. And all right, so that's going to give us more computers. However, I think we need to keep on looking for this. Oh, and of course, we have more people moving in, so we might need more oxygen. Let's take a look at our levels. I've completely forgotten this. Oh, no, we're out of oxygen and out of food. Oh, no, this is bad. It's very bad. Okay, so let's get survival stuff going on because we are hungry. Peeps are starving. Okay, Wes, why aren't you feeding us? help. Yes, the help is needed and help is real. Let's see, that gives us more food and oxygen. I'm thinking of actually putting oxygen around this area. So what I want to do is I'm going to delete these two things and I'm going to put roads across here because I would like to get some oxygen here. I'm going to delete a, this road and give us some kind of... I don't know if th those are probably all at different points as well. Let's have a stopping point there. Let's do a snap road length to like there. Yeah, that works. That's gonna work. And then we'll delete this stuff. Delete, delete, delete. And connect it upward. There we go. That's what we want. There we go. It feels like it's not, um, feels like it might be too close to the building, but it works. So I'm just going to, oh, that didn't work. No, no, I, bad. Okay, get back. And here is where I think we want some oxygen makers. We could actually put more oxygen here or on the side. That would also work. Especially where we have these crossroads. That might be the better place to put this stuff. Maybe we'll do that. Let's try that instead. Let's see. Get these things going. Because yeah, when people don't have oxygen, for some reason, they don't like that. They, like, start to panic and all. And I don't. I just don't get that. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, we're at 1.919 fulfillment on that. Let's get these guys kind of let's get another oxygen plant here uh, that length and move this road a tiny bit 
There is good. Okay, and road. One thing about this game that you don't really think about or realize is that you don't need two-way roads most of the time, I would venture to say. You probably need them very infrequently. Like here, we should probably do one-way one way roads out. Uh, though, I don't think we're actually getting much traffic, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, let's get another this. Boom, 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 and more boom. Okay, that's good. And we'll leave those there, and then they can fulfill the oxygen. That's going to provide us with oxygen for a very long time. I don't want our people to suffocate. That seems like unusually cruel and, and horrible. Okay, this is existing, but we need stuff. We need more technology. We need food processing and fertilizer and carbon nanotubes and things and stuff. Okay, we're gonna we're working on it though. Do we have any issues with traffic? So currently it seems to be going okay. This is good. We enjoy this. Life is okay. Power is staying around we're not we're not over capping on power let's just say it that way um all right this this area is working really well i feel how far are we on citizens hmm. this hasn't really kind of saturated things yet but i still feel that we probably need um we need more we definitely need more now, I do feel like we can keep on using the one-way roads, but when we get to the next segment and have to go back, we're just going to take the road back this way, I think. Uh, because obviously these are not one-way roads. Uh, I mean, they are, they're taking a lot of materials down this way. Now, did we need another one of these guys? I don't think so. Oh, we already checked all of that. We're good. Okay, so what I'm thinking is maybe I build this whole thing again. Um, what do we get over here, by the way? Oh, we got highways. Okay, we just didn't look at those. So let's just build more of this stuff and just kind of let stuff proliferate. Let it do its thing. Oh, wait. Oh, no. We don't want to do that at all. No, 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 no. We don't want it to snap to that road because we are going to... It's going to mess up our production um, with the way, you know, uh, vehicles need to turn and that kind of thing. All right. Oh, there we go. It would be nice to have like a blueprint system as well. So we could just like copy that whole uh, section of buildings and just plop it again. That would be extremely nice. Okay. Get these there. And then computer chip factory. And then after this, we're going to need to do another count again. Okay. It is, it, it's so fiddly with having to like, these not snapping there. Man, that is, that's probably my first wish list item. I mean, other than the tramways. Oh my God, that would be so cool to get that aluminum down here from a tram, like an aerial tram thing. Oh, which reminds me, I need to go to the tram in Bergen. I have never been. There's one on one of the mountains and I forget what the mountain is called, but yeah, they have a tram there. It's cool. Okay, let's get this here, and then we get our computer factory again. And... I think I've been on a tram, but I can't remember where it was. I think they're really cool, though. I like that technology. It's a fun thing. Okay, let's do... I think we had, what, four? We had eight over there. I want to make the same again over here. Let's see these poor things are like oh no KOS we cannot get out of our, our of our things the one-way roads are going to nowhere sad times land and I'm like yes it is sad times land we will agree with this but it it is working this ratio is working so so well uh, and that's of course because we have the Everything is just functioning well, and we don't have any warning symbols except for that one over there. Um, <laughs> but otherwise, I think we're pretty good. Let's see. This needs to kind of connect some more. These are the double this ones. Yes. Double this ones. I like that. That is a new term we're going to use. All right. Uh, computer factories. 
here, that's six. Okay. Kind of getting to that point where it's getting a bit overrun here. Like, really overrun. Is that because, I guess it's because we didn't switch sides or something. I don't know what we did there. That makes it different. So this is one, two, that's eight. And these are six so far. Is this everything correct? Yep. It's just, yeah, we're getting further behind on the patterning. But it's okay. It doesn't really matter that much. As long as things are the correct distance away, I think it should be fine. There we go. This one is there. And I want to put this entrance after the entrance to the computer factory. There we go. We have microchips, blue chips. And then we have our computer factory afterward. Yay. This can actually be snuck in over here. Not that it really matters because I think we're going to put a road anyway. Do we need to have another substation? It looks like we're actually okay. These... Okay, I would love to see the AoE on this when clicked because right now we can't see it at all and it makes me very sad. Okay, I guess we can see it with the power display if we select something. All right, so that's useful. Um, okay, let me see. I want to maybe move the ends of these roads a tiny bit. Just one up. There we go. And then we have... Uh, all right, let's do a one-way road here. And kind of, we can just take it along the back side here. And just go straight down. Oopsies, why did that happen? I guess I didn't drag it far enough? Maybe. Let's take it here, um, and then I guess there. That's fine. Okay, okay, we have things happening now. So this thing, let's look again at our numbers, because we now have significantly more. We now have, let's see, eight and eight. That's 16 of, wait, is it no? Mm, yes, it is. It's 16 uh, thingy majingies, but we're looking at electronics factories. So we have many of those. We have 32 of those. Four, eight, 16, yeah, 32. And that is, hey, 32, hooray. So they can, these are one every 1 1.6 seconds and this is 30 seconds. Um, okay, so 3.2 would be 10. So this can do 20. So that's fine for now, I think, if I've done that correctly. And then the sand mine is every six seconds. We needed that in here. So this can support 10 and we have more than 10 now. We have 16. So let's get another sand mine. I kind of like sometimes, uh, you know, doing the ratios like this because it definitely gives you a different, um, I don't know, different take on things sometimes and, and like you don't overbuild too terribly much. But every now and again, this game seems really forgiving though, especially with the automatic ratio calculation and it's really, really useful that way, I think. Oh, it does look like we're short on iron. Hmm. Maybe I'll put, I'll put another one. I might have miscalculated. It could be my chronic flipsia uh, taking hold there. So I'll just put one here. Um, all right, there we go. And let's see, let's calculate our copper. We have 3.2 and we have 32. So these uh, work with 10. We now have 32. So we need two more copper mines. Okay, very good. All right, this is very cool. Very exciting. There we are. Okay, those are now connected. Anything else we need to look at? I think, oh, aluminum or aluminum, depending on your proclivities. Let's change this to a big one. First of all, let's do a large one. So, and we'll do two large ones. Okay, cool. That fits. <laughs> Hooray. That's awesome. Okay, so good, good. And now we're over our power again. <laughs> we need we need more power. Come on, game. Give us more. 
Oh, look at this. We're almost at a thousand. Hooray. Okay, so what's coming up in the tech tree? What's coming up in our tech tree? Let's see. Fertilizers, solar panels. Once your solar panels clean themselves, your solar power plants will generate much more power. We can get this instantly, I believe, as soon as we get our people. So I don't think I want to build more power plants right now. Uh, or maybe we could build some more. I don't know. Let's build some more and then we'll have all the panels clean themselves and all that stuff. Okay, it's fine. Uh, we'll add this. This is a mess, by the way. Don't look if you don't like um, buildings that are slightly misaligned because there will be some in this playthrough. Just a few. Just a tiny few. You're not noticing them anyway, so just chill. It's fine. Could move this thing by kind of sneaking it over here. That's easier, maybe. Okay, and also in this playthrough, the wind blows every single direction. It's like a vortex. That's what that's what we have here. Vortex winds. It's it's very uh, convenient. Uh, not really, but I'm just making stuff up now. <laughs> okay, let's get uh, power. I had a tiny space there. Yep, that works. Okay, perfect. You can tell it's perfect because of the perfection involved here. Uh, let's see, that one seems to fit okay there-ish. And maybe another one here. We might have to delete these if we need to make something bigger like a clover leaf here. But for the moment, it will do. Could actually, if I moved this thing, and I just rotated it, to be vertical yeah like that could sneak one in even closer that way yeah there we go nope night give oh we have no stuff no concrete make go make more make more go 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 that was kind of cool that we had all the concrete and stuff made that's fun we're just waiting on our citizens 97 already to participate in the world. Yay. Okay, things are going. Aluminum is happening. We never looked at this crazy road. I like this though. I love that you have the ability to have these switchbacks and it's so effortless to like do them as in you don't have to like um, uh, delete the land yourself as in terrain terraforming tools. You can just do it with the road tool and the move tool. I love that part of that. It's really very convenient. All right, it's level four. We are at level four. Life is better at level four. We have cabillions of advertised city buildings, all of the houses. It does look a bit um, impersonal, but it's fine. We love the shiny. I do like that texture though, the whole, like the shininess. That's great. I love that part. That's cool. Okay, now, uh, all right, we need to go to level five and let's check out our research. Let's get our solar panel cleaning things happening. Um, we can see here, let's see, power, they, they currently generate 50 megawatts. I want to see how much that goes up. Now then, level five citizens need what? They need good meals, home robots, and culture. Well, I got to tell you, I have a level four uh, citizenship at my house. I don't have any robots at my house. <laughs> Um, all right, good meals, home robots, and culture. Um, okay, so I guess we look at that in the tech tree. That gives us, let's see, yellow science is here. I love that it's called yellow science. That's so nice. Carbon nanotubes, nanotube factory, um, six lane roads, super highways, fertilizer. Oh, farms. Okay, food processing. That gives us fertilizer factory, veggie lab, meat lab, and meal factory. Looks like a lot of stuff has got to go into those meals. We got stadiums. I think we'll go with stadiums next to kind of start that part of the process. So, oh, well, yeah, we want to go there. Fast speed. There we go. This is very cool. And this is working so much better now that we have like literal just production lines. You know, we have conveyor belt, inserters, and then chest. Conveyor belts, <laughs> inserters, which are the roads, and then chest. Hooray. <laughs> it works well. All right. Um, I think I'll also, I'll invest in another sand mine uh, thingy over here as well. We'll just kind of 
build this up. Large sand mine. And then we'll have concrete factory over here. Okay. And then we're going to get maybe, you know what? We're going to get food processing. Stadiums probably could be last on the list since they are closest anyway. Uh, okay, so solar panels. Let's see. Our, whoa, holy fuzzy cats. Look at our power now. <laughs> uh, it still says they generate 50 megawatts. Why is that? Now they're at 75. Okay, so they've gone up uh, 50%, which is great. Oh, look at this. They have little windshield wipers. Oh, that's adorable. I like it. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that's great. Okay, so self-cleaning solar panels. That's good. It works. Uh, okay, so hmm. we haven't needed any motors yet. I'm a bit worried about what those are going to be involving. So let's see. We're working right now on the food processing. We are at 42%. I really wish we could store this science somewhere to have like bigger... I don't know, chunks of it. Like, I would love to do, be able to research two techs at once, but then I think we would actually need more, uh, just more buildings to store stuff in. Which is not, eh, not the, not, not really what I want to do right now. So, eh, it's okay though. Anyway, we might have to think about changing some of this, but we'll see what's going on with this stuff. This is interesting. I guess we could just build more labs to store stuff. We do have plenty of employees right now. So far, we haven't really increased our amount of citizens in our cities. Let's see, we need 2,000 level 5 citizens. Yeah, all right. So time to do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's going to be a thing. So let's see. Let's take these roads there. Let's see, take this, this away. That's a little bit too far but we can maybe move this one there and can we connect this why not why not bad I don't know why it does that it just does not want to do the thing that I want it to do help okay and then this one is there I think no it's not there move it further okay no it's still not there why is this not working that's so not right. I think this one is also not right. I think there's something wrong with this segment here. We are getting a little bit of concrete back on roads. That is actually a really good thing to note, by the way. That if you're in a concrete emergency, you can delete roads. Hmm, that still doesn't seem right. Oh, well, it'll have to work, I guess. All right, let's go. Let's build some more houses. And that's going to make even more drain on our thing because there's no way we can double this population. These people are going to have... Wow, they are already at max. They're at 14 people in the houses. So we definitely need to get many, many, many more houses on this, uh, on the plan here. I think I might add some more oxygen makers over here. But I'm I'm very afraid that we're going to run out of space and then we're going to have to build stuff elsewhere and that is going to be a bit scary. Okay, so what do we got now? Let's make fertilizer. We're going to make Let's make these carbon nanotubes and then we'll make our yellow science. Oh, we have farms. Okay, cool. We have many things here. Let's see, let's start out with building some houses. Just wanna build a kabillion houses. All right, go, go, go. And this is again, starting from, from zero, basically. Something got a little bit misaligned there. Not quite sure what, but yeah, it's on a different sort of alignment, I think. It's okay though, it's not really a big deal. We don't care. Nature is natural and it's not in squares generally. So we should be fine with this. We're not going to complain or anything because this game, it has squares in it, but they don't actually align like squares do sometimes. I'm just gonna have kind of a bit of a randomness going on there. Okay, we have started with some stuff. 
I feel like maybe hmm, I would love to get those stadiums to figure out how big I need to build. Um, I think we can do one more set of houses here. Let's see. This is a this one. Maybe there. Let's get a house. I keep like I look at this and I'm like, "Huh, is that a house? No, it's not a house. It's just a it's just a bunker. <laughs> Who knows what this thing is? <laughs> it doesn't look like a house." <laughs> Okay, that's fine and let's take this further we need to get all of these houses into the 22nd third whatever century okay there we are okay and then I think what I'm gonna do is put in some substations here in order to take the power along let's just connect these guys go go and go yay Hi. See, when I try to go a tiny bit too fast, it's like, hand misses. All right, there we go. All right, do we have space? Oh, barely. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that actually worked. Okay, let's put in substations. Wow, this covers a huge space. Jeez Louise, that's a lot of space, nice. We maybe could put some housing down down the cliff side maybe potentially maybe mm, let's take this down straight and then to the side and see how that functions for us let's do that okay very good that this is quite interesting <laughs> this is very weird all right, we've got the nanotubes factory. Okay, what do we got next? Let's go do yellow science. Let that happen while we're doing stuff. And then we're also going to check on our... Oh, whoops, that's facing the wrong direction. We don't care, though, because this is a neighborhood. And neighborhoods, they do things differently from time to time. It would be lovely to have, like, some decorations, like some trees you can put in and fill in these empty spaces. That might be cool. Okay, so how are we doing here? We are not getting anything because we don't actually have anything. That's perfect. <laughs> Let's see what we got now. We have nanotubes factory. Okay. Motor factory microchips. Let's look at the food stuff. Okay, meal factory needs one plant and one meat to make two meals. We have a meat lab. We have a vegetable farm and a fertilizer factory. Um... Yay. Okay. So this needs sulfur to make plants. Oh, plant plant somethings. Seedlings, maybe? And then seedlings to make leaves. And then leaves to make meals. Okay. That's that's very informative. How do we want to do this? I'm wondering if we should get the meals coming in from a different direction. Like maybe make them down here. There's a lot of space out here that I'm thinking we could use for this. Um, and I kind of want to deliver it via a different road than this one because there's a lot of a lot of cars on this road as we see. Many, many cars. Um, and I think that would behoove us to get a different insertion point for stuff like this. I don't think we can go off the edge of this cliff. I think the, the game would be quite cross with us if we did that. Let's see if we can do this. Hello. Yeah, it's not in a happy situation at all. We can't go across this, can we? Can we go above this? I like these rocks, but man, you can't do anything with them. They, like, they, they're they kind of there, not there. They sort of block passage. I wish you could, like, build on top of them because I'm real rocks, you can. That is definitely a possibility. Okay, I think what I'll do here is... I wish I could, like, go... I, I chose a really bad place for this colony, by the way. Because <laughs> in the real world, I probably would have different districts with the the population at the center and then stuff coming in in different ways so you can share both lanes of the road and all kinds of stuff. But what I'm thinking is, let's take... Let's take stuff in a different way. Let me get... I want to get a highway here. And I think that's what we need. I think we need... Let's actually replace some of this with highway. And that way the cars can go much faster here. 
And they don't need to turn off anywhere. That's not necessary. Let me see if I can... I need to move this... Oh! It moved the entrance? Really? Oh, smart game. Oh, nice. That's cool. So when I put the highway with the road, with the wall here, it actually moved the entrance. It was on the side right here, and it moved it to this side, to the actual road. Oh, that's amazing. I like this. This is cool. Okay, let's put another highway here. There we go. Oh, wow. Things are just, like, hopping over, aren't they? All right, that's fun. Um, and I think we're just going to continue this highway this way. Um, hello? Not replace. And just kind of... Whoa, that's high. Forgot to turn it down to zero. Now then, how do we make this work? I think what we do is... I think we need to... Let's see, put this at one, two, three, four. And have this go like connecty, connecty. Can we do a connecty this away? Can we do this connecty there? Nope. But there. Nope. Okay. It's actually too high. So I'm going to go down to RR. Well, that's too high. Okay, how about there? Nope. Night. What if I did just one lane? Night. Okay, we found the thing to do. Now let's do that from here. There we... Night. Okay, how about... Can I do this? And just... Well, alright. We're gonna, we're gonna fix this. Hold on. We're gonna make this go this away. And what we're going to do is change this thing to be no U-turning. No U-turn. Bad U-turn. Mm. And this we're going to remove. I think we just connect. Hello? Back? Get back. Hello? Okay, this one to there. That's fine. Okay, perfect. And then this one can go there. I think that's a good way of doing this. All right. Okay, so we have a thing. This is good. Um, all right, so let's take this highway thing and we're gonna go from here, like there to, not there apparently. There is good. Okay, that's good. All right, and then the rest of this is just gonna go on the base level. Oopsie, not that one. F, I gotta remember F uh, for this. So let's take that, okay. And fix this non-curve, <laughs> because this is not a curve. This is not a curve anyone would be proud of. Oh no. And move that one. Huh? No! Oh no! No, no, no! No, no, no! Aha! Okay, okay, okay. It's fine now, it's fine. There we go. Alright, that will do. I think that's actually okay. This thing, it's a bit raised, a bit too high, but it's okay. I'm not gonna really bother with that right now. I think I guess we'll go with the one-way highway for quite some while here. Go there, and there, and there. Wait, did I raise it? No. Yes. Okay. It's, it's, you know what? It's raised. It's fine. <laughs> Let me just put this back on the ground. Dang it. All right. Now, where do we want to have these farms? I think this is a great open area for that. I think we're just going to go and see if we can go above this whole thing. That's fun looking, isn't it? Um, yes. All right. How do I fix this? We might not be able to do this, actually, because of... I think we needed to go down this slope last time. So I'm going to just delete all of these pieces because they are not doing us any favors. I was going to try to like, ah, yes, make it fast and happy and wonderful. Nope. Not a good idea right there. I want to do the curve thing because apparently I've not been enabling curves here. All right, let's go curvy, curvy. Thank you. Hello. Oh, there we are. Nice. Now then, um, I think we move these guys in in uh, a direction that we're gonna work with with here. Hello, curvy. There we go take this down because I think that food might be <laughs> might be something they really want <laughs> so we're gonna need mountains of it 
Okay, so here is our our entry point. Now, I chose the wrong thing, I think. Did I? Yeah, I did. Of course I did. All right. Uh, let's see. Reverse, replace. There we go. Okay, that was not right either. But it's okay. We'll fix it all. Okay, reverse. I'm going to make sure that it's all the correct direction. Okay, this is right. All right, and all of that is correct as well. Okay, very nice, very nice. Now then, let's see. We are needing to start food production. So what do we have here? Let's build kind of a template for this for now. So we have 10 seconds for sulfur. We do have a sulfur mine over here, so this is really good for us. So 10 seconds, this is 14 seconds to make two of those. Okay, and this one, six seconds to make stuff. So basically one of these vegetable to one meal factory. But this, I don't know, we're, we're going to get a speed bonus. So it could be one to one to one. What about this one? This is just 16 seconds to make one meat. Wow, that's a long time. And that does kind of fit with the whole economics of things, I guess. Uh, 16 seconds. We need at least two of these. Probably three. Well, we'll have to figure... Nah, let's do like maybe three-ish for that. So I guess we can kind of figure out a combination here that's going to work for this. So, oh, yellow science. Nice. Let's get stadiums. Or do we want to do neural processors? Uranium mining... We should set up yellow science as well. We need to check that out. Uranium mining. Let's do anything with blue and green. Oh, stadiums are good so we can figure out how much space we need up top. But let's look at this yellow science. Wow, we need uh, six or ten motors. Is that motors? The things that we were going to build and we had no idea what they were for. And six sparkly blue partial cubes-ish. Or they could be just funny shapes. All right, let's find out what those things are. Uh, motors, yes, those are motors. And then they're not nanotubes, so we don't know what they are yet. Blue sparkly thingy-majingies. We do not know what they are. Huh. Okay. Are they neural processors? They can't be. They can't actually be neural processors because that requires yellow science. I wonder what that material is. Let's look through everything and see if we can find it somewhere. Um, it's not a raw material, I guess. Um, oh, neural processors. Oh, they are Hello? Wait a second. Wait a second. This thing requires neural processors to make yellow science. But isn't neural processors... Oh, no, it's right there. Okay, so it's blue-green. All right, so we need that first, and then we'll get to it. I think what we're going to do is... I'm going to figure out a better ratio for these things. But I think for now, what we're going to do is finish up with this episode and enjoy our computers and all the things. Oh, wait, we have disasters. Hooray! Look at this! My God, we have problems! Okay, this is fantastic. We might have a whole collapse here very shortly. Um, but we'll leave that till the next episode. So I'm just going to pause before disaster happens. <laughs> Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.